Fine. Uh, thanks, uh, Shukra. Uh, now we have our next speaker, Alison. Uh, let me give her a warm welcome and a brief introduction about her. Uh, Alison is, is a maximizer, facilitator, and a growth enabler. She comes over with the 30 years of tech. Uh, experience and technical and management experience. She uh, works uh, with a lot of leaders and teams to unlock human ability to invention, strategize and move towards better, more human and sustainable way of doing business in a complex world. She successfully lead, led teams through transformation and change and mentored other leader managers to do same. Her workshops consistently receive high ratings and are received as informative, engaging, and practical transformation by clients from broad spectrum of business. Allison is a popular presenter at uh, Agile and Lean conferences and events. Welcome, Allison. Thank you very much, Baxi. And uh, hello to everybody. Um, good afternoon for many of you. Uh, I know it's about one o'clock for many of your time zones. It's seven am <laughs> here where I am so it's a good morning from my side for anybody who's over this part of the world. Uh, we refer to being agilists or being agile. We sport, talk about inspect or adapt. We talk about responding to change which all assumes that we are adaptable ourselves in and on our, ourselves and that we're at ease with the disruption that comes with change. You know, the, the word adaptable means to be able to respond readily to different conditions. And as Shipra just said, she admitted very honestly that she'd had some resistance to bringing uh, Agile into her world and that she had had to make herself be nimble. So I'm looking today with us at what we can do to make ourselves more nimble. And I'm going to invite you to share in the chat box. Uh, but I'm thinking that most of you have probably been sitting at your desks, at your computers for a long time already this morning. So I'm thinking first, perhaps we just need to move around a little bit. I invite you to stand up, <laughs> to stretch. And I'm inviting while we're doing this, that if you're able to put your camera on, you put it on because this is a workshop rather than a talk. Um, this is about as much as you're going to hear from me um, at right now. Um, after this, it's going to be all about us interacting together. So I'd love to be able to see your faces. Um, and there's some things that we're going to do where I'd love you to be able to show us something. Um, so if you're able to put on your camera, please do. Also, while I'm talking, breathe. Take deep breaths in and deep breaths out. And do that a couple of times. Um, whilst I just talk us through a few of the things, some of you I know don't put your cameras on because you don't like looking at yourself all the time. And so a little tip in case you haven't come across it before, within your little window with your video in, there's those three little dots at the top. And once you turn your camera on, those three little dots will give you a menu that includes hide self view. So you can then turn off yourself looking back at you. Um, if that's a bit disturbing and if you want it to come back again later, you just go to the view button where it's gallery and you'll now have an option that says you can review yourself. I'm also suggesting that we use gallery view so that we can see each other. And I'm seeing a few people who've got their cameras on now. Um, and we spread over two screens, but there's not too many of us have cameras on. Maybe you'll feel more comfortable with it just now. Uh, so whilst you're getting comfortable with the idea, perhaps, of having your camera on, and you're welcome to stay standing um, or sit as it suits you, I'm thinking about what does it 
need from us to be able to be adaptable. And it's not that we're not adaptable. You know, as human beings, there's a lot that we can do in terms of adapting. And this morning I had such a lovely example because I was walking around in my bedroom in South Africa at about half past five in the morning, talking to Madavi on the phone, cell phone, using WhatsApp. And when she called me, it came just like a call from somebody in the house next door. And yet when I was a child, um, okay, as a very young child, I can still remember my parents had to actually book a phone call to be made to another country. And then we thought it was really good where we didn't have to book it anymore and we could just walk to the telephone. And in those days it was turn a dial to actually phone overseas. And then there was a long delay on the line. So things even in my 50 something years of life have changed tremendously. And we've all adapted. We have no problem with the idea that I talked to Madavi using my cell phone even though she's in Singapore, six hours ahead of me in terms of time. So what is the challenge? The challenge is because things change fast. That's when we struggle with it. It's also when we have a plan in mind and we're going through the steps and then that gets disrupted. So that's a completely different type of disruption and adaption from something that happens over a long period of time. So please in the chat box, tell me what do you think we as individuals have to be able to be or do in order to allow ourselves to be adaptable? What has to be present in us, in our heads, in our hearts, in our bodies that enables us to be able to be adaptable? So you'll see me looking off to the side. It's because I've got the the chat box on a different screen. And I'm looking to see what do you think we need? What enables us? What circumstances, what skills, what aptitude, what mindset? And Pradna is first off the blocks. She says, challenging our own constraints. Bhakti says, being ready to accept change and understand different perspectives. Sabina says, breaking our comfort zone. All great things that need to change in ourselves. Any other thoughts? I'm thinking about being able to let go of a plan. And I know for me, that is often a big challenge. I think I'm quite agile until I've got this plan with my heart set on the plan and then something comes in and starts disrupting it. And I sometimes notice myself being reluctant to let go, thinking it's not possible. Faguni says convincing ourselves, yes. And I'm also thinking there's courage involved in that. And there's the courage and the confidence to believe in ourselves that we actually can change direction quickly, that we have knowledge and answers within ourselves. Madhavi's talking about getting out of that fixed mindset. It's very much about the difference between fixed mindset and growth mindset. And you know that book when Carol Dweck book came out on growth mindset, a friend gave me her copy to read. And she said to me, it won't be quite what you think. And you might be surprised. And I started off reading the book and I'm thinking, oh, sure, I've got a growth mindset. And as I read on, and then I started observing myself, I thought, mm, not always. Sometimes I also shift to a fixed mindset because we're human beings. And this is the type of thing that happens. So if we want to be real agilists, not just in our work, also in our personal lives, which will bring us, I believe, a lot of joy and happiness if we can bring more agility in. And, and earlier on today, we were looking at personal agility. 
if we want to be able to be like that, we need to loosen things up. We need to make new connections in the brain and we need the body and the brain together to feel comfortable with changing direction quickly, with coming up with new responses. Because in fact, that's what we do as humans all the time. We respond to things. We may initiate as well, but when change happens, we respond to change. So how do we get more comfortable with that? We can do it by playing some games. Today, we'll play them together, all of us with 27 people now. And there are things that you could be doing on your own or with friends, family or colleagues to keep on loosening up these muscles and making them fit. And maybe some of you are going, I don't know, what's this about? So I'm only taking us very gently into playing these games. Think about perhaps as a, as a baby, as a toddler, if you were taken to the sea or even to a swimming pool, you didn't get thrown right into the deep end. You didn't go into the sea and right out far where the backbreakers are or where the ships can be seen. I know if you're in Singapore, you can always see the ships sitting there waiting. We didn't go right out there. What did we do? We came to the edge of the sand and we walked very slowly, usually holding the hand of an adult, and when the first little bit of water touched our toes, maybe we ran back a little bit and then we came again and we let it touch our toes and we got more comfortable with it and we went in a little bit further and it came up to our ankles and maybe our knees. And we probably didn't go any further than that for quite a while. And so that's how we're going to play these games as well. We, I'm just taking you to the edge, letting you have the opportunity to put your toes in the water. So hopefully we will find it fun. Please have a look around where you are at the moment and just pick up some object that you think in some way could represent you. So here I've got a highlighter. Pick up whatever you can find near you that in some way represents you. And then, and I can see <laughs> those with the screens behind you. As it comes in front of you, we see it. As it goes to the side, it disappears. Another funny thing we've got used to since we've been working on Zoom this year, isn't it? So we can see flowers. We can see a teacup. I've got a highlighter, Bhakti. I didn't see what yours was. It's a pen. Um, so I'm hoping the rest of you have got something as well. And whilst we hear from um, a few people as to what theirs represents, I'm inviting the rest of you to post into the chat box and I'll give you a little um, kind of framework here. It's in the chat box. So just like I'm doing, this is a highlighter. It's like me because it highlights and brings out the best and the strengths in the people that I work with. I bring out or try to bring out the best in the people that I work with. So what is your object and how is it like you? And then I'm looking for one or two brave, courageous people to unmute and to tell us what their object is. If you're on video, show us what your object is and tell us in what way that's like you. So you can just say your name or you can raise your hand, whichever you would like to do. Who, who's going to share with us unmuted? I don't bite. And I'm quite sure we're far enough away in physical distance that nobody's going to be able to bite you. I'm seeing in the chat box, um, Falguni is holding up a remote control because they can switch themselves based on the situation demand. Lovely. Madavi says it's a ginger teacup. 
it's like me because I am hyperactive and it gives me energy. And I see Bhakti as unmuted. I think that's because you're going to share with us. Am I right? Yeah, I just thought of speaking up. So it said, pen, pen is mightier than the sword. So uh, in this world, there are a lot of problems. So we should not solve them by using swords, but expressing your thoughts with pen. Uh, it could be normal book or it could be blogs. So and spread peace in this world. So I think pen and solving problems with it. Yeah. Lovely. Thank you, Bhakti. And I have such a lovely picture now of you, even though I haven't met you before. I'm not seeing any more coming through in the chat box. If you're not typing it in the chat box or unmuting to speak, please be thinking for yourself what it is. So one way or another, you can play the games along with us. And I see Saranya is also unmuted. Do you want to share with us? Yeah, I just had uh, flowers and I think, uh, you know, that could suit me because I feel that uh, I try to give uh, this pleasant, flowers try to always give a pleasant uh, feel to whoever has it or whoever sees it. So, um, and being coaches, sometimes we don't really get received that way. So I try to do that in all means. So that's why I pick flowers. Love you. Thank you, Saranya. And uh, Espria is saying, um, like water. So uh, maybe you want to come back and tell us why the water is like you. Um, Sabina says that it, she has an AirPod. It's like me because I love to listen to wonderful ideas. That's beautiful. Thank you. So if you're still thinking of something, you're welcome to put it into the chat box. I have a gift for you. Here's my gift. Can you see it? And it's all beautifully wrapped up. And I'm giving this gift to you. And as you receive this gift, open it up and look inside and say, oh, lovely, this is a chocolate. Whatever it is in your box, every one of you has received a different gift. So you just say, oh, this is lovely. This is a chocolate. Thank you. And either you can unmute and tell me what's in your gift box, or you can type it into the checklist, uh, the chat box for me. So I'm looking to see what gifts everybody has received. And I see that the water is like as Priya because it's flexible. Bhakti says she's got a cake. Wonderful. Anybody else is welcome to unmute and to tell us what's in your box. And Sabina says, wow, this is so delicious. It's pizza. I think between cakes and pizza, we're all going to start feeling hungry. <laughs> it is lunchtime. And, and, and I have the slot over lunchtime. Isn't that ironic? Sonora's got vacation tickets to Tahiti. Oh, fantastic. Oh, wow. What a lovely thing to do right now with so many of us having been locked down and restricted. Pradya has received her vaccine, finally. Madhavi has a lovely bunch of flowers. Oh, this is like, um, well, it's Mother's Day. And most of us on the call, I'm not sure if we have any men on the call with us today, um, but most of us are women and many of us are probably mothers. Saranya has got movie vouchers. Lovely. I haven't been movie for so long. So now we're going to play around with with things, something called three things. And for three things, I really do need some volunteers. I need, let's say two people who are going to volunteer to just play this with me as a demonstration. Because then we're all going to get an opportunity to play this. We're going to go into breakout rooms. Uh, so who is going to volunteer to play with me now? 
it's very quick and as I said you're just putting your toes on the edge of the water I'm looking to see can you raise a hand use your reaction button raise a hand or unmute Bhakti and Saranya are volunteering right so now I'm going to try this see if it's going to work for yeah there we go There's the three of us spotlighted. Now let's just remember to take this off again <laughs> when we finish playing. So Saranya and Bhakti, please unmute. Mm. You are unmuted, sorry. It's the pin button, but um, my brain quickly interpreted as a, as a mute instead of a pin. So I'm going to give you a category and I'm going to ask you in response to that category to name three things. You just need to name the, the single word for each one. So it's going to be three quick words. So Bhakti, can you give me three colors? Three colors, a red, pink, blue, sky blue. Great, fantastic. So Ranya, um, three book titles, please. Um, who Moved My Cheese? One. Uh, Coaching Agile Things because that's what I was reading. <laughs> and, uh, uh, yeah, leaders eat last, you know. Three, lovely. Thank you, Saranya. Uh, Bhakti, um, how about three brands of motor vehicle? Uh, Maruti, Honda. Uh, uh, I'm not good at cars. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, um, Maruti Suzuki, Honda, and then what I can say. Yeah, we've got, we've got three. Thank yeah, you, Bhakti, well done. Saranya, yeah. let's stretch it a little bit. Let's go for five things now. Five things you would find in your cupboard. Okay, clothes. What? Clothes again. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, uh, probably some, uh, you know, uh, hidden uh, hidden gifts, which I usually hidden keep for gifts. my son. And uh, some uh, greeting cards, which I have received earlier. Try not to explain and, them. Try just to yeah. say them. <laughs> and the other one, uh, uh, yeah, naphthalene balls. Naphthalene balls. Thank you. Five. Well done, Serenia. Okay. So this is what we're all going to play. And what I want you to please um, have noticed is that uh, I did sort of cue Saranya back to focusing on just saying the words, because you know what, we all try to uh, make it a little bit smoother by filling in with a whole lot of words, but this helps us the most if we make ourselves just come with the words. So if I'm going for five animals, uh, lion, giraffe, antelope, elephant, tortoise. <laughs> That's how we need to, to try and make ourselves play. So I'm going to uh, send you into breakout rooms or Madhavi is going to send us into breakout rooms. And Madhavi, if you can send us in threes, maximum four people, because we want everyone to have lots of turns. And it's just for five minutes. So everybody, this is actually very quick. Um, and I want to just put into the chat box for you. Ah, oh, I haven't got a pre-written thing for this one. So it's fine. So what you're going to do is the, the first, it doesn't matter who it is, the person whose name is closest to the beginning of the alphabet starts off as soon as you get into the chat room and just goes straight away, calls the name of someone else in the chat room and says three and whatever the category is. And then that person gives those three things and then they give a category to somebody else. So you can keep going round in a circle. And when you've done a circle with three things, then change it to five things. But before you go into the breakout rooms, I'm going to make it a little bit easier. Let's just think of categories. So everybody in your own space, just quickly think of a category that you want to use. And whilst you're thinking of the category, 
Madavi is going to send us to the breakout rooms. When the five minutes is up, you will be magically transported back into the big room with all of us. Whenever yep. you're ready, Madavi. Yes, shall I open all the rooms now? Great. And here they are. Welcome back. <laughs> We're almost, almost there. I think, just see if there's, maybe we lost one or two people along the way. So I think number wise, we're probably all back here. So I'm interested what that was like. How did you feel playing the game? What happened? And as always, you're welcome to unmute and just say your name and then share. Um, or to type into the text into the chat box. So I see somebody said it was a nice breakout session. Sabina, I'm pleased you enjoyed it in Janaki. But now I'm looking for more about what it was like. Not not that not it was nice, but um, this is what I noticed. This is what I felt. This is what surprised me. So diving a bit deeper into the experience that you had. This is Sheila. I'm in the Hi, United Sheila. States. So I realized one of the people suggested as a category e-commerce companies. But I know the companies in Asia are different than the companies in the US. So if I name companies I know, they may be ones no one else has ever heard of. And I had not heard of some of the ones that are apparently large in the countries where the other people are. Okay, so Sheila, such a lovely observation, because that is exactly the type of thing that holds us back, because there was nothing that said that we have to name something that other people will know. It's actually getting our brain to find answers quickly. So you, we, we, we tend to self-guess ourselves, and maybe that's something to think a little bit about how that impacts on us in terms of being agile. So I'm having a look at some of the comments here. Um, Grace says, it was fun and relaxing. We laughed a lot. We had to, uh, Janaki says, had to reply instantly. Yes, that's what it's trying to make us do to get used to doing that. Sonora says there were some weird, awkward moments at first and she was the first speaker. Pragna says, enjoyed it, sometimes difficult to quickly answer very simple questions. Yes, definitely it is sometimes. Even for me, Bhakti saw me go blank when she asked me a question. And then I made, in fact, Bhakti, maybe just in a moment, you can comment on what you noticed when I went blank and then carried on. What, what, what did you notice? Yeah, maybe some things which are very uh, common maybe we just don't get it uh, quickly uh, it's a state of the mind maybe uh, at times it happens uh, so, so Bhakti in terms of observing what did I do when I went blank just laughed it out maybe <laughs> yeah and then after I'd laughed it out uh, and then you think and you spoke uh, uh, yeah so what I did was I realized I was blank and I just and I, I laughed automatically and I straight away made myself say a name. And once I said one name, then the next ones came. Um, Sonora says everyone started to unmute. So I think it was from being awkward to being comfortable. That's interesting as well. Anybody else who wants to unmute and share what they noticed? Shelby, oh, Shelby, you... Were you with you weren't with us in that group were you now sorry thank you saranya wants to share something yeah uh, initially when we all went to the group uh, we were like you know trying to uh, get into a normalization you know we didn't know where to start what to do and things like that so our first round we did few rounds and the first round was a bit bumpy but the second round we like okay we got the okay let's just choose in a category and you know anyone 
just pick it up and just go ahead. So in this way, we were getting to know about each other. So it get it got better and better with rounds. Interesting. So the more we do it, one, we become comfortable with it, but we also develop those skills and we develop the courage to actually do it. So we're going to play one more game and then we're going to, to discuss that. So I again need a couple of volunteers. So who is going to put their toes a bit further in the water? We're probably coming up to our ankles this time. Who's going to play along with me? April, I see you've unmuted. Do you want to play with me? Not hearing from April. It could also be a, a muting problem. Um, Saranya and Bhakti, can I call on you again? No problem. <laughs> okay, so let us just spotlight you quickly so that everybody can see us playing and this time we're going to create a story together so we have a story that is going to start off on a beautiful sunny day and then i'm starting it and we're going to go from myself to bhakti to saranya back to me bhakti saranya we're going to keep going round, and each person just adds three words and if you can count them that's great but if you end up with a slight extra little word it's okay, we're not going to complain about that. So on a beautiful sunny day. Bhakti, just add three words to my story. I got up early. Sarani. And prepared breakfast. And the, fi the frying pan. Bhakti. And the uh, frying pan. Frying pan fell down on the ground. Um, then um, I. Well, um, sorry, <laughs> I think it's I. Okay. okay. Let me try it again. Uh, I took it back into the sink. And picked up new ingredients. Um, uh, thinking about my recipe. The sun was the sun was shining. I plan to go out. V wear my favorite dress. <laughs> Thank you. So I'm going to stop us there because I don't want to to take all the time with the the demo, and um, I want everybody else to be able to play at creating a story together. So just to, um, to think about what were the key things that are important there. Uh, the first person starts off with on a beautiful sunny day. And then everybody adds just three words, try and keep it to just three words, uh, because it makes the most fun because it interrupts the sentences. And try to keep the thing moving along and then when you come back we're going to talk about what the experience was actually like okay so again madavi is going to put us into rooms um three or four people four is also fine um yeah and it will be let's make it for six six minutes okay. uh, and i'm going to put i'm just changing this um i'm going to put this into the chat box just to remind you of what we're doing and also we're trying not to um not not to make the story do different from what the previous person said so we try to honor what the person said by continuing the story so let's have a go Madavi, yeah. can you say sure, this? Yeah, to the I'll open the rooms. Yeah. Okay, lovely to see everybody yeah. popping back into the mm -hmm. room. And I 
think we're probably all here. Okay, so what did that feel like? How, how easy or difficult was it to create that story? Nareen, lovely, share with us. Thank you. It was a lovely experience with Shelby and we were practically venting out. <laughs> So yours became a, a rant type of story. Yes. I know, but we digressed from here to there. Yeah, Shelby, why don't you also yeah. say something? We giggled and we laughed. We talked about shoes and shopping and food. It, it, it went from, we talked about a lot, you know, sunny day, park, <laughs> being locked in, food, Missing shopping, things. shoes. And in that going back and forth, did you manage to stick to only giving three words each? In the, beginning. <laughs> in the beginning, in the beginning, and then it was more like six words. <laughs> okay, <Yeah. laughs> I think you're probably doing a sentence at a time rather than three words at a time. Yes. And um, did it did it feel like a co-created story? Yeah. Yeah. Totally. What What was the What was the What do you think was making it keep going? Because it sounds like it really went back and forth. What was making it keep going? I think spontaneous I think, spontaneity. Yeah. yeah, and also it was we had some. We were talking about something in common. It was a yeah, common absolutely. like theme. As soon as we started to talk around lockdown, it was a common theme. So it was easy. So there's a, a connecting of minds Connection. and it's trigger yeah. triggering your yeah. mind easier. Yeah. Yes, Thank yeah. you. Who who yeah. else would like to unmute and tell us a little bit about your experience? What was easy? What was difficult? What surprised you? What did you sticking notice? To, Priya? Sticking to three words was very difficult. And what do you think makes the three words difficult? Because uh, we are thinking in terms of sentence. We are thinking what's going to come next. That's the, I think that was my difficulty. I always went for six words, seven words, and uh, Bhakti, you want to help. <laughs> but as yeah. others said, right, it was spontaneous as well. Bhakti was with you. Yeah, me. Uh, yeah. So framing us, uh, putting some idea in three words, uh, like when you're creating a story, it ha a story is made up of sentences. And when you put an idea, three words, because you have to have a, a noun, a verb, and uh, uh, something which joins it so putting it in three is little difficult because your idea then gets breaked up so i think that's the difficulty where it comes uh, to put things in three words so isn't that interesting again like we said with the previous game that there's no rule that says that your piece has to be complete but we in our heads think it needs to be complete so now we're trying to make this complete thing into three words which as bhakti says is is unless we go back to the simple sentences we had in our books when we learned to read that's pretty much impossible um i'm looking in the chat box to see um amal says there was a spontaneous flow um parrots flew away hot coffee sun cream beach philippines it sounds like that story was going all over the place Anybody else who would like to um, join into that? Amol is saying Sabina, Genevieve, Sabina, um, we're all part of that group. Do you want to say anything about the experience that you had? What was it like to make yourself just add on to a story with a story you don't actually know what it's about? You just got to take the next piece. Swapnila as well was also part of that group yeah i think uh, it was fun it was kind of uh, a learning as well with a very uh, simple activity i think uh, quite a lot of learning how uh, we can connect to each other how everyone thinks in the group and one of the observation like every time when a new person joins you know that person is feeling lost and then you kind of have to uh, you know guide that person or just kind of reiterate that okay this is what you know, we are doing and this is the story and go ahead. And I think it's it's quite nice how everybody then kind of slowly understands, uh, as you said, right, we have to keep the, um, the what do you say, the soul of that story or wh why it started. And I think slowly everybody starts understanding and then starts 
but yes definitely choosing just the three words is kind of <laughs> a little difficult once you get in the momentum but i think a right. wonderful experience yeah i'm wondering did anybody have the experience that they'd said something they had a story in their mind and then the the persons after them took it in a different direction and and you got a little bit upset that it went in a different direction did that happen for anybody or was anybody surprised by the direction in which the story went compared to what they'd had in mind? Yeah, yeah I think. Uh, yeah, it's very for, natural. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's very so natural it's, for it to happen because everybody's thinking in a different way. But then we knew that and we accepted that this is going to happen. And that was the fun. So there's acceptance that the plan has changed acceptance that things go in a different direction sometimes janaki i did see you unmuted and um, please go ahead and share yeah i'm about to say the same thing like we we started a story as a you know love story and it ended as a horror story <laughs> so, so to, totally uh, other direction <laughs> totally just, different from what you expected yeah so Neela, I see that you had unmuted. Do you want to add anything that hasn't been shared? I see that in the chat box, Amal has added um, that there's, there's an element of being comfortable with the group and not being judgmental. So by not being judgmental, I think what Amal is saying, and Amal jump in if I've got this wrong, is that if we're not judgmental, both on the other people and on ourselves, then the story can be created quicker and easier in a more flowing manner. So Amal, if that's not right, please tell me. Uh, absolutely yeah, go right, ahead. Alison. Absolutely right, Alison. It, it is more about, a, can I really talk about parrots? Should I say colorful? Is it going to look right? Somebody said about sun cream. Is it like, can I just now connect it with the beach? Yeah, so is, uh, are, they, are you feeling comfortable with the group? Yeah, absolutely. Great. Thanks, Amal. So let's pull together what we've been talking about today. We've just got a couple of minutes left. I'm, I'm wondering about thinking back to our topic. Our topic is about if we're agileists, we need to be able to be adaptable, to be able to adapt quickly to change. We need to be able to respond to the change and we need to be able to do that very quickly so we started exercising some of the muscles basically in our heads and in our bodies to help us with that so i'm interested in observations what stood out from you what what can you take from today what was surprising or what was of value to you I'm going to post those questions into the chat as well to remind you. And I'm looking for a few responses to that. And then we will do one more question and close things up. So across the whole session, what can be of value to you? What perhaps surprised you? Or any other reflection that you have on what it was like as an experience? And everybody's gone very quiet. So I'm looking either to the chat box or please just unmute, say your name. And once we check, we haven't got two people speaking over each other, then I'll invite you to share. So I see that, um, I always read your name out because it's what's on your on your little um, video there says S Priya. I know Priya is also sometimes a first name, so I'm not sure if that's your first name. Um, great things can be explained by small exercises. That's interesting. Swapnila says simplicity in the activities and how we could all connect. It's a wonderful experience. I love that you enjoyed the connection, which is an extra bonus to doing the work in this way. 
surprised that quick connections were established. Yes, isn't it? Sometimes we don't realize um, how little it can take to create connections. Easier to quickly share if coming from our own experience. Yes. So when the plan changes, we call on our own experience to respond to change. That's actually the first things that are available to you. So when we wanted three things, for instance, the things that are most familiar to me, to you, are the ones that are going to come up. So I'm not sure if people noticed when I had to share on animals, I'm going for African animals because that's what I'm accustomed to. That's what I see. And those are the ones that are most easy to surface in your brain. Um, communicate to connect. Inspiration to participate through the connections. Um, I made everybody talk. <laughs> it was good to know everybody and it was a great experience. That's super. So now what can you take from today to use in your work? Either you as an individual, is there something here that you can use to help yourself to become more adaptable? Is there something that you can use to help your team to become more adaptable? Grace says we had a good laugh. And anybody is welcome to unmute and answer either of those questions. How can the time you spent here, which has been enjoyable, as many of you have said, how can you also use it outside of this conference? Do you maybe have new insight into how you actually have answers quite quickly available? At first, it's difficult to get them to come up, but the more you play with this, the more agile your brain is, and you do have answers to questions. You are able to take a plan and just pick up where you join the plan and join the story and move the plan onwards. And you can accept that somebody else moves the plan differently because the circumstances have changed and you will go with that flow and that adjustment. that you could play perhaps, play some of these games with your family or friends, play them with your team to warm up the brain, to get people ready to be accepting of somebody else, confident in their own ability to add something in the moment, to be able to speak up without self judging yourself. And perhaps thinking about how we found that some of us introduced rules that weren't actually there. We limited ourselves with some extra rules that it needs, for instance, to be something other people understand, or it needs to be um, the full idea or a full sentence. So sometimes we bring in extra limits that we don't actually have to have when we're creating solutions. And here in the chat box, we've got Activities used in day-to-day -day. team members could speak up with ideas, build trust, speak up without having fear. Thank you, Bhakti. Genevieve says, no judgments, listen, all ideas are welcome, communicate and have fun. And those all sound like really good basis for creative problem solving or innovation. Swapnila using such simple ways to break communication barriers in the current times when we're working remotely with teams. Yes, we can be interactive. Sabina says, don't be judgmental and listen to the solutions. Those are also really good base for being able to creatively solve problems or adapt to change or respond to change. So 
I've enjoyed spending time with you across the oceans. And if anybody wants perhaps um, information about how to play the game, if you've forgotten it and you want just the, the, the description written down, or you have any questions, you're welcome to connect with me. I've just put in the chat box. It's easy to find me on LinkedIn. There's nobody else called Alison Gittelson. And there's my email address. If you use my email address, just be careful. It's got two E's in the middle. If you miss one out, I won't receive the email. And I look forward to continuing to connect with some of you and one day getting over to Southeast Asia again to explore more. Thank you, everybody. Thank, thank you, Alison. I absolutely love this session, especially the way you delivered the message. You know, simple things can really make a difference. And I should really say this, you radiated a lot of positive vibes uh, to all. And then I personally felt like listening to my favorite teacher in school. So I was like completely looking at you throughout the session. So it was great. Uh, thank you so much. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> so anyone wants to express some uh, or have any questions for Alison, uh, feel free to unmute.